Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson. In today's video, I show you my solution to my tie down conundrum. If you saw in a recent video, I installed some flush mount tie down hooks in my enclosed trailer, and uh, the tie down straps that I've been using are not working. Uh, my mower is moving around too much, and it's causing the hooks to come undone and then the mower to become loose and move around. So I've been looking for a solution for that and I think I've found it. And this is my solution. This is called a shock strap and it's, uh, I believe this is a polyurethane bushing in the middle and this will stretch out when you tighten this down and that allows for um, suspension and prevents your load from coming disconnected. As with all of my reviews on Thrifty Garage, this is a complete and unbiased opinion on this product. Uh, full disclosure, I did purchase this product with my own money and um, wanted to try a couple different variants, test them out, and see what um, works best for me and uh, my application. Least expensive option is this 10 foot red cam strap. This is $19.99. Next we've got a seven foot ratcheting strap, which is $35.99. And last we've got a seven foot ratchet strap, which is $45.99. And you can see there's a $10 difference between these two here. And uh, the difference uh, is in a, a higher quality ratcheting mechanism is is where the main difference is that I can see. So both of these have a thousand pound working load limit and that's going to be your weak your weak point. Um, it is obviously a much uh, more durable looking. The size of the shaft here is like twice the size. Um, I actually like these little handle ones so I thought maybe this would have a roller on it which it does not. Um, but just having the bigger ratchets and the bigger teeth um, they just tend to work better, so I'm sure that's going to make a difference. We've got a $15 difference between these two, and obviously we, got, we upgrade from a cam strap to a ratchet strap. And this just has that direct link there with the shock strap, 500 pound working load limit. Um, there is no nylon strap connecting the two. Both of these ratchet straps do come with the same hooks, which have a clasp in them. Personally, I'm not a fan of these. Um, but I know a lot of people are asking for these and that's why they include them. I usually tend to find that these things end up breaking and bending and just causing problems. And you can see how this works. It's just got two, two holes drilled in here. One, one end of this um, tongue goes into one side and the other end goes into the other side causing that spring action. Also included in these straps is uh, some nylon webbing with a, a loop on it. And that's for a soft um, hooking application. So if you've got handlebars on a motorcycle or um, just looping it around uh, a rail on a trailer, that's what that is used for. So these are a good length uh, for that use. On this red cam strap we also have a loop and this can be used uh, as a pull loop and uh, one disadvantage I immediately found on this is that you're unable to pull this through this cam. In fact you can pull it through and I did pull it through but it is very difficult to get back through, uh, nearly impossible. I had to use my Leatherman and a, a tool to pull this back through and cause damage to this. I talked to Shockstrap and uh, they said the best way to, to insert it back through this is to, to cut the strap and to use um, heat to, to singe the nylon and then you can put it through no problem, just like any traditional cam strap. I'm going to assume this is sewed after assembly and um, this is probably not going to be a problem for most consumers because they did say at the end of August this year, which is 2019, um, they will be discontinuing this loop and just have a traditional cam strap where they've just got a, a tab on the end. One interesting fact I learned in speaking to Fred from Shockstrap is their current version of the cam strap is made in Taiwan and their new version is going to be made in the USA. In addition to being made in the USA, um, there sounds like they're going to be discontinuing this uh, type of end and they're actually going to be using the, the end with the clasp on it. You might be wondering what this odd yellow thing is. And this is what they call a strap latch. So this enables you uh, to perform the same function as this clip. And the way to do that is you hook it on whatever you're hooking it on and then it, you stretch it out. And you have to stretch it out pretty far but you stretch it out and that uh, allows you to hook onto something and it won't fall off. So, kind of a neat invention that you haven't seen in the industry, which is a pretty nice as well. Um, really, I think Shockstrap here has found 
a lot of solutions to problems that have existed for a long time. Um, to be honest, they haven't been very mainstream, at least in my knowledge. Um, unbeknownst to me, they, are, they were established in 1998, and they supply uh, many military applications and other large corporations in their um, strap solutions. As with any nylon strap, you're going to have some stretching occur, and whether it's a solid load or um, a load that has suspension like a motorcycle, um, those loads tend to, to either bounce or the straps stretch out to the point that the hooks come undone. Um, so this is a good solution for that. Obviously, I needed a solution in my, my trailer, and uh, I really think that this is the solution. I will say these straps are rather expensive in contrast to what else is out there on the market. A few months back, I did a review on these for the extra mile ratchet straps, and at the time, these were $20 for a set of four. Looks like currently they're listed at $40, uh, and they're discounted down to $25 for a set of four. Now keep in mind, these are ratchet straps. The cam strap I purchased from uh, shock strap was $20. So I got four for the same price that I got one, and it was ratcheting instead of a cam strap. Uh, in contrast, that these for the extra mile ones are saying that they're now $40. Well, I can get one ratchet strap from shock strap versus the, the four. And I will say the quality is completely different. The quality on the four the extra mile ratchet straps was bottom of the barrel. I was not very pleased with the quality. And to be honest, I don't use them as much as I would have liked to simply because they're just not uh, reliable. I don't trust them and uh, they're thin. A lot of issues, go check out that video. Um, but these ones are, are quality. These shock straps, you can feel the quality, they're nice, they're gonna last a long time, and with that quality, they actually have a two-year warranty. Um, in talking to them, even if you have an accident, if you run them over, they will warranty them one time by accident. But if they have a failure or anything like that, they're gonna warranty them for up to two years. So that's something really cool that you're not gonna get with some of the less expensive options. Um, these are expensive, that's why I only bought a few different versions try them out before I made my next decision and getting more. With the cost, I don't have the convenience to just buy four straps at a time. Um, so I wanted to test them out first and make sure they're gonna work for my application. Well, let's head out of the trailer and take a look and see how these work. Um, see what options might work for me best and what ones don't work. Um, obviously this is initial review, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you everything. Uh, my experience over the next coming weeks and months is really what's gonna truly tell me uh, what works and what doesn't work and uh, we'll do a review in the future, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can check out that um, long-term review. Here's with the shock strap installed. Still fit my hand in there, so that should be tight enough. If this does fail, this should catch it. And this really is really tight. Um, this extra flap length is a good length if you need to use it, but this end, I do not know what they were thinking here. That is like way too long. Well, I don't, I don't mind how this attaches. It seems very sturdy. Well, that's got some power. So here's how I've got these straps mounted. I ended up using the loops on these, which actually worked out perfect. Um, I was trying to hook it on these casters, and it just wasn't working out. So here's the most expensive strap. It's got this really nice label on here that shows you all the specs.
well that light on the Snoko Genius Boost the GB70 worked out good got a future review video coming out on this okay well now we've had a chance to see these in action I'd love to hear your comments and questions if you have any leave them down in the comment section below and uh, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage please like comment and subscribe I will say these are not as pretty to roll up <laughs> they are they are not as easy as most of my ratchet straps. Most of my straps I can roll up pretty nicely, but because we've got this extra shock mechanism in here, uh, it's just more bulk to roll up. So uh, one con to, to be mindful of um, amongst all the pros. Okay, Google, what is a conundrum? Here's the definition of conundrum. A confusing and difficult problem or question. There you go.